Hello my beautiful Pisces, welcome to your reading guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Miss Didi and if you're returning, then welcome back my beautiful darlings. I'm excited to have this time with you. Thank you again for all your likes, comments, shares, and subscriptions. We're gonna get right into your tarot and then we're gonna explore with the different oracle cards to see what's going on. And congratulations to Elsa Kassa. You are the winner, even though we got this one in reverse here, but you're the winner of the free 30 minute reading guys. So do keep commenting let me know I'm not sure what do you guys want me to give away next you want to do another free reading at the end do you like those do you want to have a chance to win that too of course for anyone who's looking to book a reading with me missedtarot.com is the only way and the only place you can get a reading with me okay so for anybody who is still looking for clarity or guidance check it out there you can also check out my store for all the goodies that I have on there as well too and I do ship international okay so thank you guys so much for everything all oh, like I said that's the announcements let's get into it so do you have the Six of Wands coming out here too. I feel like for some of you, maybe you feel like you're a little defeated in this situation. Got the Nine of Cups at the bottom, so I feel like it's a good energy. I'm gonna put this back though, but I mean, I know obviously it's not fun. Uh, the winner wasn't Sagittarius, ironically, so that's funny. But uh, we're gonna keep entering all the people and thank you again. So let's see, Pisces, what is the message for my beautiful Pisces on how does this person feel about you? Okay, King of Swords. Maybe they're not telling you. Could be dealing with an air energy. Could be dealing with someone who is uh, being a little cold, a little guarded. Someone who's got like plans. Someone who's got like a chess player kind of thing my ear oh my god okay I got like this ringing feeling here so for some of you this person may not have told you yet or they're putting in very minimal effort of course someone of authority someone who's in some kind of higher position here too okay chariot energy things are moving forward quickly how do they see you as someone who's on the move that's for sure because you're always like doing things your way I feel like maybe this person also doesn't know where they stand with you cancer energy coming through with the chariot and also the number seven could be significant for you but there's this movement forward they see you making moves and taking names I feel like you're going very quickly into this new direction you're on your path you're in your destiny I feel like this person could be feeling like they got to fight for your attention with the five of wands here fire energy too but this could also just speak to the conflict that they're having where you know if they're not talking to you yet struggling to find the right ways to express this and to tell you how they truly feel. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries energy. This person could be, of course, having a hard time because they could be feeling quite defeated. Maybe you've left someone behind here too. And I feel like because of the way you've left them behind, um, or perhaps this person is having a lot of hard times, like insecurities, fears, betrayal here. There could have been some kind of, you know, competition. They feel betrayed because there's other people around you or um, in the sense that they are going through this difficulty, be it depression, be it mental anxiety stress just a lot of stuff weighing on this person's mind so how do they feel about you is uh, maybe they feel like you're going places and they're kind of feeling like they're at this difficult time in their life right now nine of cups coming out again for you so you could be dealing with an air energy um, this could be also someone feeling like they're needing to fight for your attention or there's too many things going on maybe they're dealing with some kind of conflict and they can't come towards you but they know that you're on the move right so they got to make moves here because this is their wish they see you as everything that they want with the nine of cups too uh you could be dealing with an air energy like i said water energy cancer scorpio pisces cancer's here twice though um but we do have this beautiful emotional fulfillment you are also someone who is focused on what it is you're wanting now this person may also be needing to do a lot of inner work to attain the same happiness because of course someone who's in on their path and destiny you know working on what it is that you're needing to do you're in this kind of beautiful alignment right now i would say I'm in flow and because you're in this beautiful space it's making this person like really happy for you eight of swords though they might see you as the one who's going through a really hard time here too uh you're both energies of course masculine and feminine take what resonates guys these are general also add the text if it helps the cc so it can help you with the text if you check this out a couple hours after i post you'll be able to read it along there if that helps anybody who english isn't your first language thank you guys again for watching from all over the world i appreciate you um we do have this element of being stuck and trapped kind of like this mental struggle that's happening here but i feel like it's mutually you're both having conflicts about this you both want this um i feel like this person really does want this but they see you or you see them as being trapped in their mind being stuck in their head or overthinking something or feeling bound to something for some of you you are breaking free from whatever this is with the knight of wands though that's that victory like i said at the beginning it might have been in reverse because they can't feel or see a way to win with you um this person 
person, of course, riding in here, coming through chaos. This person's having a lot of struggles, a lot of difficulty. Maybe that's also why, you know, they don't see the work you're doing because you have all this like erupting emotion, but passion and desire here too. So the fire energy, of course, again, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries coming through very strongly. Element of regret and loss though. This person may feel like they've lost you or there's some kind of disconnect with some kind of grief. For some of you too, there could have been a situation involving grief and uh, you're still mourning or still letting go of something it's almost like a paradigm shift is happening here for someone where you're really releasing an old way of thinking um, this person is really needing to let go of things that didn't work out in their past those two are significant because they definitely want to keep coming out so I'll take them after but for many of you you're having this uh, loss you could be dealing with something of course sorry for anyone who is dealing with any loss the beauty is whatever that situation is like crying over the spilt milk Pisces this is can be your energy here but we do have these two beautiful new cups in the back here and I feel like that's what this person's waiting for they're waiting for you to overcome something they could see you having gone through some kind of challenge or difficult things you've been on a journey excuse me you've been on some kind of spiritual journey of course if you've been with me for a while we've been doing this together for others of you too you're breaking free from some things that they feel like they almost need to rescue you it's like this damsel in distress kind of energy right so like you're kind of stuck in something but just be careful you're not finding yourself trapped or circling into a situation there a little bit of regret and loss again like i said those two cups there but we are moving into this with the magician energy so this person sees you as their wish fulfillment they see you as everything they've wanted they know that with you they can do a lot of things okay magician energy here too so i feel like you bring a lot of happiness to this person you fulfill them they can feel a lot of uh abilities with you too like how powerful kind of the energy is intoxicating with the magician energy you know there's a lot of um I keep saying power, but like the ability to create. Magician, of course, having each tool at hand here and with the infinity symbol, there's a very strong bond and current that goes energetically with this person. And I feel like it's almost like a little bit addictive too, because when they're not with you, they're sad and then they just want to be around you. But there's a lot of struggle, conflict. Maybe there's a lot of differences as well here too. So I just want to say that because the feminine energy is around a fog here, okay? So you just want to make sure that you're not like seeing things that aren't there um you know that makes sense that's kind of your energy too that dreamy not in a negative way but it's like you sort of have like these ideas and these thoughts and then you get stuck in what you think or how it should be we all do that so please don't take this personally but it's like breaking free from this and this person may be fearful that they can't live up to your expectations or they can't make you happy because you know you have something very set or a specific thing that you're bound to because there's something you need to break free from it like i said that mindset this way of thinking a thought pattern or some kind of struggle that you have here you know again within could be for some people could be insecurities for other people could be like just negative thoughts right uh the ten of swords is something very difficult could be after a loss could be some kind of strife and struggle here so this person is trying to figure out how they can help you with the magician it's a fresh beginning it's a new energy could be dealing with an aries or a virgo here but we do have that ace of wands and i told you that person is coming in towards you to offer this passion there could be a very passionate connection here too for some of you too you could be conflicted now this can also talk about tempers so that could be part of it too it's like you're both not sure where this is going or maybe for some of you you're looking for more and this person does see you as more but there's just this element of physicalness so just be a little cautious here again we did have these two cards slip off that i want to focus on but again more fire leo sagittarius or an aries but it's an opportunity for some of you it could be an opportunity that is taking you and relocating you into a new direction and that's going to be kind of disappointing because you and your person might have to separate or it causes a little bit of conflict in the situation twin flame energy coming through with the lovers you guys could be getting a communication from someone else and they know that there's competition here um again twin flame lovers there's a lot of union there's a lot of symmetry there's a lot of balance coming through could be a gemini energy but can be someone from your past here as well past life coming through as well too but someone is definitely coming in to have this new beginning to spark this new passion to have this fresh start um a lot of fire energy so i can't help it <laughs> this is coming through very strongly some of you could be wishing for this or this person knows that that person has some kind of power over the situation again this connection is very very powerful in the sense in many ways eight of, eight of pentacles could be an opportunity with work okay or people that you work with there's some kind of destined connection or purpose it's like a opportunity for, for you to fulfill your destiny and whatever this opportunity is it's leading you to this person so again like letting go of people or f people regretting not taking the moves or making the things that they should have at the time again not for everyone if you're not wanting to complete that that's up to you 
but there's this element of being both trapped in your head being stuck and overthinking this and having a little bit of regrets so this could be this person trying to make this offer this opportunity here too could be to do with money could be mastering your craft here again earth energy virgo capricorn taurus and at the bottom with that king of swords energy like i said this person's got some ideas they're working on a plan here working on something um working on a way to bring this to light but there is this element of lack of communication in the sense that they're not completely communicating or you're not completely communicating your feelings how you're thinking what you're feeling and i feel like that's sort of what's not helping you both see eye to eye in the situation how do they feel about you you could be really working on your work really focused on some kind of partnerships here as well too they feel a little bit like they need to fight for your attention all the time even though it makes them happy when you give them the attention they're not really always feeling included okay so just a heads up if you guys are really focused on what you're building here just a little notion here because this person is feeling neglected in the connection to some extent again there's a lot of passion a lot of desire there too which is good but you want to make sure that you're fulfilling the emotional needs because in this card the masculine energy is going uh fading a little bit here so for some of you too they could feel like this connection is fading because of this new energy that's coming in new fire energy a lot of erupting erupting emotions guys i can't hide the wands they're there so let's see what the romance angels want you to know i'm just going to clear the gilded tarot for us for now let's see what the romance angels can help us clarify what is coming through for you romance angels what do pisces need to know in this situation what else thank you amazing the bottom release your ex okay so for some of you there's some kind of very difficult connection that you're still feeling has some kind of control over the situation or your person can still feel you being controlled by this other connection your first one was engagement right so this could be this offer this person could be trying to figure out how to offer this to you to have this beautiful but your this new connection i should say but your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so if you've just been dating or things have been more passionate they're turning serious uh this person could be asking you to marry them could be asking to propose could be of course if you are taking things to that higher level wanting to come in with a more serious offer because you deserve love uh you are lovable so they definitely want to spend this of course for some of you too could be sagittarius energy with this wand wand <laughs> i don't know their wand is very striking if you will because i got cupid's arrows and a lot of little angels here so there's a lot of angelic assistance pushing this connection together and this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner that you seek so for some of you not always a past person but someone could be coming forward with some regrets about how situations went um this could be someone who wants to mend and heal this and offer their love realizing you're their wish come true realizing you're the one who has everything that they're looking for they want to work on this for some of you too the suggestion is healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so this is childhood traumas pains um lessons or painful cycles i feel like for some of you too with that eight of swords there's this energy of a thought pattern or some kind of belief that's been instilled in you from your childhood of your expectation of how things should be and i feel like this person may feel like there's no way for them to break down that wall that you've built around you okay that's part of it the other part of it too could be this person is the one who has this very specific structure on how it should look and how it should feel and there's this element of neither one of you being able to fulfill that or there's some kind of fear of betrayal because it's almost like liking all the attention, but the other one doesn't know how to compete with that attention or they don't feel like they feel insecure, right? But we do need to let go of control issues. Allow your situation to unfold naturally. And because the control is here too, maybe this person feels a bit entrapped or you feel kind of trapped with them because that, that uh, magician energy can be a little bit manipulative. And that again can be like that style or that behavior that you learned from your family. If you've seen your parents or you've seen different dynamics where that was being used there i feel like that's something with this being needed to work on but it's safe for you to love open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all because there is love here with the nine of cups they see you as their everything with the chariot too like you are looking great you're moving forward things are moving into this beautiful new direction and there's this opportunity to have this new beginning for some of you there's a very powerful soul connection again with the lovers this is a very big decision for some of you you're choosing between a past person choosing between a new person 
there's like almost like this bond like this person's aware of the bond and I don't know if it's with them or with someone else but they know that if that other person comes around they almost like feel like this intimidation I don't know how to explain it I really don't know how to explain it you're gonna know let me know how these are resonating and what this means the journey of love actually yeah, let's do the journey of love and then I'll do the journey of soul what are the journey of love messages for my beautiful Pisces what can clarify isn't it funny these cards are creeping out and I got soulmates so for some of you they just <laughs> this happened the other day with the other deck too so soulmates double confirmation this is definitely a very strong twin flame soulmate connection very powerful you could be dealing with one of each I mean for some of you like I said I'm just gonna keep this one here because clearly it wanted to come out for you so what is the journey of soul please Woo, journey of love I should say not going to take all those but we do have forgiveness like i said someone could be coming back to offer something for you a very passionate oh, you're going to be really excited about this i can't i can't say it here we go let's see what else is coming through journey of love journey of love for pisces what do they need to know one more please okay see i tried to give you a few but they just want to keep coming out okay hmm try to put them in order your first one is would you say yes if this person asked you and I think this is insecurity so remember how I said like this person might be scared of rejection scared of being turned down or in the past they have been so it's bringing a lot of pain here too but there's this beautiful connection between the two of you but this person again look they're offering something for you there's a rose there's a flower that's that offer that's that question that's that passionate move here number 15 confusion and that's exactly what I was feeling like you and your person are really having a lot of mental dis difficulty with the decision or conflict or struggle here too between the two of you to figure out what it is like there's a lot of confusion how have we grown did the situation grow the way you wanted to did you grow apart I don't know you're gonna know what's best here but there's a lot of confusion because we have 33 though even though it feels a little weird if for some of you you got to trust because you're a perfect custom fit this person and you have this beautiful bond beautiful connection but there is a little bit of confusion because then we have the surrender which is the twin flame journey here so it does say real ready to follow you anywhere so this person is ready to come towards you ready to make this choice to be with you of course not everyone has to accept this because I feel like for some of you you're in the surrender phase for others of you you're in the soulmate phase um if you're choosing that but i can't lie i can't lie guys we have the union card this is definitely a twin flame connection for some of you for some of you that separation that period of separation isolation that's just confirmed here with all these different cards um soulmate for sure twin flame possibly number 22 you got duplicated numbers several times here so 33 22 11 11 like 1 1 2 2 3 3 again 1 2 3 is progression so that's a lot of beautiful energy uh your spirit has set me free and remember i always said about this like this person is getting free and they're coming straight to you you've assisted them you've helped them your souls have healed each other again they could have been the ones needing to heal family issues and you've assisted in that and there's the differences cats and dogs here duality can we kiss and make up like i said not for everyone if you want this person back you do if you don't you are dealing with this new energy but this person could be also coming to heal and clear the air here but this could be the one is saying that this is already someone that you've met someone that you know and you could have this potential so since this soulmate card is from this deck anyway that I was going to use it just came out a little earlier for some of you who needed to know it sooner maybe you were about to click off and that was your confirmation what's the journey of the soul oracle for my beautiful Pisces oh someone's flipped gratitude take a little cup of gratitude so again an attitude of gratitude attracts more things that you're grateful for for some of you too the separation but the way it fell on the gratitude card was upside down so no more separation i can't lie this is like that twin flame energy really strongly coming through uh one more please one more please for Pisces <laughs> I told you this person is full of regrets uh, there's a lot of regret here and solitude which makes sense because on the twin flame journey there was a need for separation so that you could see that so this person could go through this regretting energy uh, divine masculine divine feminine guys take it how it resonates I just want to make sure I get the right cards here again regret sadness loss really really down this person has emotionally mentally and physically gone through that process and 
and feelings of what it is to be without you. So in many ways too, there's a gratitude for the separation because it's created this opportunity for appreciation, which I like because again, soulmates need to let go. Again, letting go of control issues coming through strong here because we got divine timing. Everything happens for a reason. There's a higher purpose here to this connection, which makes sense because in the twin flame connection, you have a divine purpose. There is a, a mission that there is needing to be done. So there's celebration if you're closing out this period of separation because there was too many codependencies. And that's what I feel like. It could have been the feminine energy that was a little bit dependent or codependent here, I should say, um, because this is just someone who's really bound. Now, again, that doesn't mean it's the feminine masculine energy. This could be them too. Maybe there were some things they weren't able to break free from, but because we had the chariot first, I know there was fast forward motion. And for some of you too, maybe you needed to break free from your masculine, break free from your feminine, but there is this undying love, even though it's been on ice, even though it's been cold without them, there's this union coming in together here. I really, really love it, guys. Um, I can't, uh, I can't ice this any other way like I feel like whatever it is you're going to be very grateful for the outcome of course for those of you who want this not everybody is wanting this but they do see you as their wish come true there is with the 11 like this is the union card this is like you coming together with your person soulmate twin flame really powerful connection um this could definitely be the one you're moving forward to your destiny with this person so this is three decks confirming how strong this energy is that I'm feeling and I'm excited for you guys so do let me know how this is again you have free will to accept or deny any of the situations guys and this is just something for you to assist you to release this this could be the past energies you need to let go of this is anything in conflict and struggle insecurities or even just this confused energy because they want to ask you this person needs to know they want to know will you say yes this person could be of course nervous or trying to figure out how to bring this together with you um, they do have a lot of regrets you've helped them set themselves free and they want to kiss and make up and follow you anywhere. I mean, what more could you ask for, guys? Thank you so much, my beautiful Pisces. And please comment. Let me know what you guys want for the next reading because I'll be picking the comments. Maybe I'll do a free little card reading at the end again. I know you guys like that too. And let me know if you like this layout. I like doing different styles so that it can help you guys with a better view. And as always, please do check out the other videos. Focus on the titles. They can help you in your current situations. Stay safe. God bless. Love and light. And we'll see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.